What's up, everybody? And welcome back to my Twisted Life and TV. I am Poetry. You are here for what are you here for? Travel and Talk Tuesday. Yes, you are. Okay, I got something on my screen, y'all, that's throwing me the fuck off. All right, that's good. All right, here we go. I had a, um, I was watching a YouTube video this morning, and it had went down to picture and picture size on my screen. Oh, I realize y'all why I'm late for work all the damn time. I'm looking at my clock right now. It said it's 7.31. My phone says 7.35. I don't know why the clock in my car keeps slowing down. I have a brand new battery in this car. So, you know, it should be holding a charge long enough to do what he got to do. But, man, it keeps slowing down. I'm happy to get that looked into. And it's making me later than I think I am. Because I'll be like, damn, I just left out the house. You know, <laughs> or, the, or, the, or the world time is speeding the fuck up. You know, something is wrong. Either T-Mobile is wrong and speeding my time up on my phone, on my phone, on my car, in the house. is slowing the fuck down or whatever. One or two. Anyway, I'm on the way to work. It's Traveling Talk Tuesday. Thank you all for my birthday shout outs. My birthday is not until June 3rd, y'all. I know some of y'all probably just saw the, the image and y'all was like, oh, it's Portia's birthday, happy birthday. No, my birthday is June 3rd. The post I made that I shared on Facebook, Twitter. Did I share it on Twitter? I probably didn't. But I shared it on my social medias. It's saying, I'm going to host a live birthday party for myself on my birthday, June 3rd. 7 p.m. Because that's the time I like to do streams. You better know how to turn this corner, girl. That's, that is how I, that's, I like to do streams at 7 p.m. It makes it 5 p.m. Is it 5 p.m. East Coast? I mean, West Coast? I, my time zones are fucked up. I know it's 6 p.m. Central, West, uh, Central Time. It should got to be 4 p.m. California Time. I'm not going to push it back to 8. I'm probably still going to be on at 8 o'clock. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I've never thrown a birthday party for myself. I've actually have not had anybody throw me a birthday party since I was 10 years old. Um, I was living with my aunt at the time. And my mama got together and she threw me a birthday party when I was 10. That's the last birthday party I've had. I didn't get one for my sweet 16. I didn't get a going away party when I went to the military. Um... So from none of my so-called friends have ever threw me a gathering. Um, they've never hosted a dinner for me on my birthday. Nothing of that sort. So everything that I have done for my birthday every year has been planned by me. Everything. So last year I went to London. The year before I didn't celebrate. The year before I was 45. And y'all know y'all call y'all um dumb donald y'all call him 45 and i didn't want to be associated with that presidency so I, I decided to skip over 45 altogether although i did go somewhere where did i fucking go i went to cuba i went to cuba that's where i went for my birthday i went early in may but I was, it was in honor of my birthday and then i had a dinner for myself that people came to but as far as people throwing shit for me it ain't never happened so i'm throwing myself uh, online virtual birthday party. I don't know what the fuck will happen. <laughs> I claim there's going to be cake because I expect to bake myself a cake. Um, my thing, my colors for this year is going to be red and gold. You know what I'm saying? Um, I plan on playing some music. YouTube may hit me with some copyright strikes because I'm going to play uh, some music some copyright claims but I'm going to play this music any damn way because it's my fucking birthday. Um I might play all the damn birthday songs. Happy birthday to me. Uh, do you know, go shorty. It's your birthday. I might play all the birthday songs. You never know. Um, <laughs> and y'all gonna see a new hair color. I decided on my hair color. No thanks to y'all. I asked y'all to help me pick out a color, a suggested color that I should dye my hair. And nobody, I don't know why I just, I, I ask y'all questions and then y'all don't answer. <laughs> if I asked y'all to help me pick out a hair color Y'all decided to uh, think of what color I should dye my hair Nobody responded so I chose my own fucking color And on my birthday Y'all will see my new color Um Next week there will be no Traveling Talk Tuesdays No Traveling Talk Thursdays No Traveling Talk during the whole week 
I am on vacation from work the entire week. At least my head honcho told me he was going to prove it. And when I looked at the schedule, the last time I was at work, he hadn't even put the schedule up. So my goal is to be on vacation. So I'm going to be on vacation uh, from traveling, talking. Because I'm not going to be leaving out the house. I'm, I'm, st I'm still quarantined. Other than going to work, I'm still quarantined. Um, I'm going to make sure I do all the grocery shopping that we need to have done. Done. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I plan on sitting in the house quarantined. Um, so, I plan on still giving you Insecure and American Soul. I plan on still giving those two videos. I think I got one last one. Uh, Money Heist. Which is coming out Thursday and Friday. So, I won't have Money Heist next week. So, Monday, I think that's the last episode of Money Heist this week um and then insecure's last episode is going to be next sunday so i'm gonna i'm gonna give you oh she had no somebody told me i had 10 episodes so if it's 10 episodes you know i'm still i'm still gonna roll on with insecure i have not watched insecure from sunday night i didn't feel like it i, I didn't feel like in, in, um, involving myself in the lives of molly and Issa. and in this particular episode it's all about molly and andrew and I told y'all, I don't like them as individuals or as a couple. So, it really didn't intrigue me to want to watch. But I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. I heard Molly with some cute outfits. I heard she with some cute outfits. Um, I heard she had on a Holly Berry wig. I don't know. What the hell is going on with these fucking hair? These wigs. I tried to watch Love Birds. It's a great movie. <sighs> when I said, I don't know, y'all. Mm, that's exactly what's my feeling. I started watching that movie. It annoyed the shit out of me. The first five minutes and 24 seconds, I was just totally fucking annoyed by the whole dialogue. Um, it, the, uh, the jokes aren't funny. They aren't funny at all to me. Um, I didn't find any cute moments at all to me. Um, I see Isha is really pressing this. The the idea of um, Melanated Sisters dating Asian men. You know, she got the Andrew hook up with Molly on Insecure, and, and this when she's with the Indian brother. Uh, I think he's an act, uh, a comedian actor too. I can't remember. People say he's really funny. You know, on his in his own right, I don't know. I don't follow the man. I never heard of the man. Um, I just didn't think this show was funny at all. It lacks so much of everything. It no matter what role Issa Rae plays in, she is the same character. I think I've said this about her before. You could take whatever character she is. I could take her from Insecure and I could put her in power and she would play the same fucking role. Issa Rae has no range when it comes to her acting. Even though she's portraying or supposedly portraying different roles she's the same. It's no like Photograph <laughs> The same, yeah. She was the she's the same character. <sighs> she's very good at the character that she plays, but she's the same one in every role. Like, she, it, it, there's no, no, no. She's she's got a lane, and she's in that lane, and she's staying in it, and she's not spreading her wings. She's not changing lanes. She's not making a right. She's not slowing down and making a U-turn. She's staying in that same lane. It's taking her where she want to go, though. I, I'm going to give her that. That's all I can do. I can give her. Why are we not moving, y'all? We're not even at a red light, y'all. we just at a corner trying to turn. And people ain't moving. I'm blowing my horn from all the way back here. I'm like 10 cars back, y'all. 10 cars back. Why the fuck we not moving? I, I, I'm, I'm going to say I'm the one that no, put the pedal to the metal. Maybe. How come not all these other nine motherfuckers in front of me didn't notice this bitch wasn't turning? Like, what the? And it wasn't no traffic coming across. Lord Jesus. I'm trying to be at work on time today. Our boss told us to come in at 7.30. And I was like, I'm not coming in no fucking 7.30. I'll be there at 8. So, I, and normally I'm not there at 8. But since I told him that, I need to be there at 8. I can't be late. That motherfucker's going to be looking for me to be there on time since I said I wasn't coming at 7.30. Because it's the day after the holiday. We didn't work yesterday. So there's a lot of shit that, that our office is probably backed up in. <clears throat> Did y'all do anything for the holiday yesterday? Um, My mother said she wanted to barbecue. 
and I had the similar idea. I had bought some little thin cut <coughs> ribeyes and a couple T-bones, but she's like, she wanted to go get some short ribs and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, cool. You know? Um, and then when I came home from work on Sunday, she didn't have the ribs. She said she didn't go to the store. Matter of fact, my mama told me everything that was on the grocery list on the refrigerator that I hadn't picked up, she was going to buy. What did she buy? The eggs. There was 14 things on the list. She's like, yeah, I didn't get nothing off your list. I just, she does it all the time. My mother always comes to me, tells me she's going to buy what's on the list, and then go to the store and come back and say, oh, yeah, I didn't get what was on your list. I forgot to get what was on your list. Because you wasn't going to get it in the first place. You wasn't going to get it in the first place. Let's just be honest. Because if you was going to get it, when I went to go pick it up, you'd have gave me the money for it. You wasn't fit to go get it. But you, whatever. Anyway, so she ended up going that next morning to at least get the short ribs. She still didn't get what was on that list. Now, the, the thing is, I had already left out that night and went to Walmart. We got like little grocery store, Walmart grocery stores in our neighborhood. I had already went out and picked up everything on that list with the exception of my honey. I'm out of honey. And, but... I didn't bring it in the house. I left it in the car. My car is in the garage. So, you know, I left it in the car. And uh, so she didn't know that I had went out. So when she went back out to the store the next morning, she still didn't get the list. She got the, her short ribs and some other stuff that she was going to barbecue with. She picked up a bottle of barbecue sauce. Like, we had a whole debate of whether or not we needed barbecue sauce. We use barbecue sauce regularly in the house. I use barbecue sauce on my french fries. I use barbecue sauce on my onion rings. We use barbecue sauce on our burgers. So we use barbecue sauce and other things other because we don't use ketchup for the most part. We use barbecue sauce as the ketchup. And um we were out of barbecue sauce. So I was like, no, that was on my list. Well, she's like, well, I don't really need barbecue sauce on my ribs. That wasn't the point of me putting barbecue sauce on the damn menu on the grocery list. It was because we was out of barbecue sauce. But okay, yeah, you do. You do need some barbecue sauce on the fucking ribs. She say her ribs that good that she don't need no barbecue sauce. But when she cooked the other day, she used the damn barbecue sauce. Cut her ribs was slathered in the barbecue sauce. I thought you didn't need none. But anywho, um, so yeah, she got up. Like we, I started marinating my meat, my little ribs. I uh, made some ghetto burgers. I mean, I made ghetto burgers. I did the old school. I put the red peppers, the green peppers, and the onions inside of me. That was good too. It came out so tender. You know, sometimes you can grill burgers on the on the grill and they turn out really dry because of the green peppers and the onions inside the meat. They were super tender. Oh, they were good. Oh my gosh, they was heavenly. Um, so I seasoned up my meat early in the day. She started, and I was like, "You gonna you gonna season? You gonna marinate the meat? You gonna you know? Because you know, she held got her some short ribs and she got her a uh, rack of baby back ribs, and she had bought me some beef ribs instead of the uh, short ribs. Which is fine. Since I eat beef ribs. I love me a beef rib. Um, although I was expecting short ribs because they don't have no bones in them. But still, that was fine. I didn't pay for them. She bought them for me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm like, you know, so she decided she's going to go ahead and season up the meat. About an hour or so passed. I was like, you going to fire up the grill? And she was like, uh, me? I was like, yeah, you're the one with the most meat. And, and she actually was the one who said she wanted to barbecue. I know I said I had the idea, but I could have did my shit in the oven. I had very thin cut ribeyes, and I had just did a thin cut ribeye the night before with some jerk season on it. It was far. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I've been having crazy cravings this week. I, I, I literally cooked Thanksgiving dinner the other last week. I had dressing and cranberry sauce. I had all that stuff. So, I had already did some. I had did some uh, one ribeye was the jerk chicken seasoning, the jerk seasoning on it. But the jerk seasoning is from uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. I never liked that jerk seasoning. And I know what I got to do to make it to my liking. Because it's something. They, they got too much of something in it. Too much allspice or something in their their version. I should be at the highway right now. So I'm going to be about five minutes behind. But anyway. um, It was pouring down raining. All day yesterday. But we from the hood. We from the STL. We from St. Louis. We have barbecue in the snow. So we know how to barbecue in the rain. Uh, she fired up the grill. Um, We threw all the meat on her. Use the barbecue sauce. You get don't baste your barbecue. You don't you, you put your barbecue sauce on the wires grilling. And um I only did half the burgers like that. I flipped the burgers, put the barbecue sauce on one half, and I didn't put none on the other half. But the burgers were still good. The burgers were so fucking fire. Oh my gosh. The burgers was fire. Um and then we just had some little box macaroni and cheese. Kenan wants some Velveeta box macaroni and cheese and some 
uh, Bush's vegetarian baked beans. Is that all we got with it? She made her potato salad. I was supposed to make some deviled eggs, and that never happened. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the whole little meal yesterday. Y'all, I ate so much fucking meat. The meat, that's it. I ate the burger earlier, right? And I got me some pretzel um, buns. Put them on the grill with some butter and toasted them, and then I had the burger. That was so fucking fire. So I made me a, a burger for earlier, and then about two hours later, I had a rib. Then I went back and had uh, a ribeye with the side items, the baked beans and the um, macaroni. And then I came back later and got another rib, and then came back later and got another rib. <laughs> I was just eating meat like crazy. My stomach was so effing tight, y'all. So tight. But before the end of the night, though, I had to blow the bathroom up. I blew the bathroom up. Up, up, up. Yeah. TMI for y'all, but I'm letting y'all know I had to let it go. You had to drink. I had to drink a lot of water since I was eating a lot of red meat, too. I had to drink a lot of water. Flush that shit out your system. Red meat is very hard to digest. It takes long. It's the, the, it, di it takes longer to digest red meat than any other meat. So use their water to help flush it through your system. Speaking of water. Ah, damn, I should be right back in the old job right now. Yeah, I'm being these five minutes late. It looks like it's gonna rain all day today, too. Anywho, um, what else I was gonna say? Back to my birthday shenanigans. Um, I think I talked about it all. I said I'm gonna have music. I said I'm gonna have cake. I got balloons. I got me a birthday outfit. Like I said, my colors are red and gold. Um, like I, I, I've been. People said I've been begging with my birthday request. Yes, I've been begging. Uh -huh. I expect. I, I like the gifts. You know what I'm saying you're supposed to give gifts for people's birthday. So I have put down my PayPal, my um, Amazon wish list, and my mailing address. If people want to send me stuff. I have a couple people who've already done so. I thank y'all so much. I greatly appreciate it. Trust me. I'm going to enjoy whatever it is that y'all got me. Even if y'all went on your own limb and did something on your own, I appreciate it. My super chat is going to be open for financial donations for my birthday on my birthday live stream. Yes, it is. Letting y'all know that right now. Um, Like, normally I would use the super chats to try to roll back in the channel, like give a giveaway or something know whatever super chats y'all donating to me on this live stream if y'all do so i'm keeping that shit this time thank you very much i appreciate you in advance um but i don't know how long i'm gonna go on the live stream maybe two hours seven or nine maybe um i don't have nowhere to be like the next day I ain't gotta be at work or nothing like that but you know that's the way love goes i'm trying to get my music playlist together though i like because i, I want to i like different types of music Y'all might get every genre. Y'all might get a little bit of rock and roll, a little bit of country, a little bit of R&B, a little rap, some reggae. I like music. What the fuck are you hitting your brakes like this for, bitch? It's a curve. We merged onto the highway. Oh, my God. How the fuck you entering onto a highway that we going up a hill and you riding your brakes? It's all good. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um starting the night before my birthday. I'm gonna do a separate hair video. Justin Blaze is always asking me about what I put in my hair, what I do to my hair. And my answer to him every single time is nothing. I don't do much to my hair. I wash it. Every once in a while I throw oil in her, like almond oil, coconut oil, or organ oil, but not often. My shit's dry. It's unkempt. I don't comb through it. I don't do shit to my hair. Now, I used to be really careful about my hair care. And I think I was more careful about my hair care when I permed it than when I went natural. I have been, um, let's see, so 2007, I was cutting back on putting relaxes in my hair. So I would put a relaxer in my hair. Starting in 2007, I would put a relaxer in my hair. Uh, way before 2007 2004 I started going back to putting relaxes in my hair every two months right 2005 
every three months I was putting relaxing my hair. By the time 2004 came around, I was putting relaxing in my hair twice a year. So from 2000 up to 2006, I was down to once a year putting the relaxing in my hair. Um, and the rest of it was like flat iron pressing it. I was still pressing with a pressing comb for the most part. And then uh, 2010, I stopped putting any type of relaxers in my hair at all. The only chemicals that I would put in my hair is when I dyed my hair. Um, but I was still like, I would style it, I would comb it, I would cut it. I, would, I had all kind of shit going in my hair. I made sure I used my hair mask, my VO5 oil treatments. I was doing all that stuff, you know. Uh, and then when I went natural, I got lazy as fuck. You know, after I started, because my hair started getting thicker. And then sometimes, I don't remember exactly when it happened. I stopped flat ironing my hair altogether. I think I went for almost a whole year without flat ironing my hair. And when I did that, I lost, my hair was heat trained. We call it heat trained when you flat iron your hair often. And then you, um, it just looks like you're permanent. Like Kena's hair, Kena has never in her life had a relax in her hair. She's been natural since birth. The only thing she's ever done to her hair is bleach it or color it. Um, but people think that she has relaxes because her hair stays straight so long when she flat iron, flat iron, because her hair is heat trained. But if you stop doing that for, for a long time, your hair will revert back to its natural state. And it, uh, when you start flat ironing it, it won't last as long. The, the straightening won't last as long. So, yeah, 2010. I started I was somewhere around there between 2010 and 2012. I uh so I stopped flat under my hair and then now it's unruly. <laughs> Ponytails have became my fucking friend. Ooh. Did I oh my current job that I'm in right now. I went back to it full time. Like from 2005 to 2010, I was working at the IRS and this job. Both of them doing part-time schedules. At the IRS, you, I, I maintained a presence because I was in an office environment. But when I went back to this job I'm at right now, full-time, I stopped caring for my hair. So my hair care routine has been next to nothing. I was using this product called Moist Diane. If y'all in another country and y'all sell Moist Diane, I will pay you for that shit. That is a hair care oil that I've only seen in Japan. That shit is, it, it does wonders to my fucking hair and my scalp. And when I ran out, I cried because I couldn't find it on Amazon. But I have their, their shampoo and their conditioner. Shampoo is like really, it doesn't have any uh, lye or sulfates in it. So when you put it in your hair, it don't lather up. But I don't use those often. Um, damn, I'm late. I did not want to be late today. Um, but... <clears throat> I think after I ran out of my moist Diane, that's when, uh, yeah, I really stopped just taking care of my hair for real all together. And so we try to like substitute it with argan oil because it has a similar scent. So I'm assuming the argan oil or Moroccan oil was in that moist Diane and it do they don't work the same. They don't work the same. They don't work the same. But my hair has like naturally grown fast anyway. My hair just grows like, um, so what was I getting to? The whole point was I am about to do a, a hair care video on this channel um test it with ty ty over on test it with ty's channel um it's creating her hair a hair a growth product um that she asked me to be part of her her sample team her sample pool or whatever um to see how effective it works on different types of hair, things like that. So I'm going to put out a video. So Justin, you will be able to follow me on this. <laughs> I put out a video from the day I started. And then I'll probably do a second video. Uh, I think the beginning of July. And she wants to go full uh, into fully into business in August with a product, so that'll be two videos. I want to try to do three, maybe, but I don't know. I'll at least do two videos on it to show y'all if I have any growth um, with her product and 
yeah that's all that so expect that video coming out next week that's gonna be one of the next week videos um the what else is going on in my life <sighs> okay so my birthday celebration um i i haven't i picked my harvard classes yet i'm waiting on a new cycle to start because some of the classes have already begun and so i still haven't picked my harvard classes um but i am going to pick at least one and learn me a new technological skill um what else i got going on in my life i'm still trying to find a place to live um because i'm also looking for like purchasing a home too I told y'all the next time I purchase a home, I don't want to have a house note. I just want to buy it right out. So I'm really looking at like either foreclosed properties, homes that have been seized by the state or government, um, fixer upper type of situations, and where I could like that would be my always my place to go back to. But because I want to start traveling, I'm gonna be 47 the next Wednesday, and there's so much shit that I have wanted to accomplish that I have not accomplished, like. For real, y'all, this my 2020 vision board is sitting in the corner. It's like this year has been thrown the fuck off. But then I was looking at it, I was like, there's some things on this 2020 vision board that I could have been achieving and they got shit to do with me leaving outside the depths of my house. And I have really been like really, really thinking a lot about or pondering a lot about some life choices and life decisions that I wanna that I said I was gonna do wanted to do and like I need to really push them through um, being a person that's dealing with uh, mental health concerns sometimes those that hinders my progress because I would get into a funk or episode is like what they like call it and I can't move forward through my day so I get then I get then I get discouraged or <laughs> upsetting myself for like giving into it as if I have some control over it at all times um but there's so many things that I want to do. I, I want to start doing shit on my actual bucket list. But first, I need to create my actual bucket list. I mean, I have a lot of things I say I want to do, but I have never written down my for real, for real bucket list. And I think I want to do that. Create me a bucket list. I told y'all one of the things that I want to do, and I'm so serious about this. People think I'm joking. People think I'm an idiot. They think I'm crazy when I say this. I want to walk across America. So many people I know have done this. But I don't know them. But I know that there are people out there that have done this. Because I've seen YouTube videos about it. And I would start. I wanted to start in. Depending on what I was, where I was living. Because I kept saying I was moving back to California. If I was going to move back to California. I was going to start here in Florida. And then walk towards California. But if I'm still living here in Florida. Or on this coast. I want to start in Oceanside, California. And because I want to come across Highway 40. I don't want to go up north through 70 because I don't, I don't know about walking through them damn mountains and what time of year the, the, the temperature is cold through those mountains. It may be all year long. And, but I know going through Arizona is hot as fuck during certain times of the year too. So I got to really plan this where I can walk through Arizona and not get caught up in the fucking monsoon sandstorms because those happen too. It was with one black guy that I was watching. He was a Marine. I think he was walking to honor his father a lot of people when they do the walks they have a charitable reason so they may get a lot of sponsorship you know things like that i don't have a fucking charitable reason it's all i have is a desire and a want to do it for myself and hopefully i can get financial support when along my walk um like people were like helping they were donating shoes or people was like buying food for them or meeting them on the road and making sure you know he had some place to sleep for the night things like that and it's easier said that that's easier to do when you're a male, I think. I don't I don't know many women. I'm I like the research and see if any women have done it. Um and I, I thought it was one person on this channel that said they want to do it too. And I was like, well maybe we could do it together. I really, really want to do this walk. Call me crazy, but I want to do this walk across America. <laughs> Um, but yeah, shoes is gonna be the biggest thing because like a good pair of walking or running shoes. You need to change them out every 300 miles. And I forgot. I looked it up how many miles that was to go across America for real. But I forgot. I wrote it down some damn work. Um, but walking across 40, coming across 40, and coming all the way through to go oh, back over to Florida is what I want to do. I told you I had a friend that rode a unicycle from Miami up to New York just last year. A fucking unicycle. A bike with one wheel, y'all. He rode that shit. Um, 
But like I say, it's easy for men to do um, over women. But I'm going to start planning that shit. And then I have, also have a goal for me to visit all 50 states. All 50 states, including the District of Columbia. And all seven of the United States territories. That is one of my life goals as well. So I, I really want to start traveling again. But I need to have money to do that. So I need to like either work harder or smarter. Do some more investments to make sure that my money is working for itself. Um, really push through some of the, the things, the business ideas that I said I wanted to have in the beginning. That could make money for me. Instead of actually coming into work in order to get all that stuff done. But yeah. All right, y'all. I'm at work. This is the end of Traveling Talk Tuesday. I appreciate y'all being here. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, I'll see y'all in my birthday celebration live. All right, then. Peace.